Come on, I got about 60 seconds here. God is the king. Revelation 5 and 10, he have made us kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. So if you are a king, what are you ruling? Say, I am a king. Uh -huh. Where's your kingdom? Where's your business? Fathers, where's your family? Uh -huh. Where's your legacy? Where's your community? Where is your global church? Because a kingdom, guess what, has to have a currency. Uh -huh. The Vatican and Rome, they have a currency. So we're talking kingdom, but where's our currency? A kingdom has to own land. Where is your land, king? Where is your land, queen? A kingdom also has to have infrastructure. Land without infrastructure is not maximized land. A kingdom has to have an army. An army, the kingdom suffering violence and the violence taken by force. A kingdom has to have affordable health care. A kingdom has to have viable institutions of education. Any kingdom that does not have these core competencies is operating like a third world nation. Most of us are operating like third world people. We're living, many of our churches, our institutions of faith are operating like third world countries. And finally, God is a giver. Say, I am a giver. And though I have the gift of prophecy, great gift, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, the word says I am nothing. You're wondering why you don't have anything. It's because you're stingy. Uh-huh. Look, look, just look straight ahead. We won't know it's you. I won't. You won't even know it. The camera's not even on you. Giving. There are two types of people on this planet. Givers and takers. And unfortunately, many people are takers. Uh-huh. They're takers. Even sometimes when you're dropping your tithes, your offerings, your first fruit, because your mindset and your heart is not in the right place, you're giving currency, but you're really a taker. Because the only reason you're giving is because you've already calculated what you want to get. Uh-huh. You're not giving as a lifestyle. See, when you really come into true wealth, when you really come into true economics and understanding the divine laws of prosperity, it's really about what I can get to you first before I get something from you. It's about extending a hand, extending a heart, rather, before I extend a hand. This week, we're talking about business development. We're talking about starting a business. When you understand that you're creating in the image of God, you understand whose image you created in. So we're breaking up the fallow ground. We're getting you ready for this prophetic economic revival because your mind has to be in the right place. You've got to know that regardless of what side of the track you were uh, born on, it, it doesn't matter because I am money. Uh -huh. You see, uh -huh. I am money, I am. I am tuition, I am, college students. Uh -huh. I am relationships, I am. I am resources, I am. I am money. Look at somebody say, I am money, I am. I dare you to look at somebody, just, just look at them real square. If, if find somebody you really don't like. Just find them and, and look at them and say, wow. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say, wow, I am money. I am. Therefore, people of God, the thesis has been thoroughly positioned and proved before you this hour. We are created in the image and likeness of God. Somebody's going to help me in a minute. We possess his divine characteristics and our ultimate and consummate goal in human form is to become like Christ. Christ in his humanity but also catch this, Christ in his divinity. To become like Christ implies that we impact past, present, and future. Let me hear you say that. I'm impacting uh -huh, past, present, and future. Uh -huh. This money thing is not just for Bill Gates. Uh -huh. It's not just for Warren Buffett. But it's for me and you too. It's not just for the white community. It's not just for the black community, 
but it's for the Hispanics and the Asians too. It's for the European community, the African community, as well as the diaspora that it includes. It's for the Jews in Poland, the Arabs in America, and the Christians in Dubai. It's for whosoever will come to the throne of grace. Look at somebody and say, why? I am money. I am. I see this recession as an opportunity to become one of the many new multi, 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 multi millionaires. I'm using the next seven years to create a hedge of protection over my life, over my family, over my finances. Look at somebody and say, why? I am money. I am. I am becoming consistent and fulfilling my divine purpose. Every day, I'm adopting a lifestyle of conservatism. In this season, I cannot give up because I am a giver. I am a business. I am a walking opportunity waiting to be realized in this dimension. I am money. Look at your neighbor this time and say, why? Come on, say it like you really mean it. Why? I am money. I am. Because I understand that God is the greatest entrepreneur in the universe. And I'm going to start my business not next week, not next month, not next year, but I'm starting my business now. I'm going to raise capital now. I'm going to pay off my debts now because I am money. I am. I dare you to rise up on your feet and step into this moment and say, I am money. I am money. I am wealth. I am health. I am currency. I am relationships. I am, I am, I am money. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know how you feel about it, but if anyone is going to be blessed over the next three days, it's going to be me and my family. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're looking at a millionaire in the making. I have the potential of being the head and not the tail. I'm going to be the lender and not the borrower. Put your hands together and say, neighbor, I am blessed and highly favored. Yes. Lift them hands and praise the Lord, everybody.